We've had so much going on. Lee Anderson has been suspended. Breaking news. Uh, but uh, let's welcome again to my panel, broadcast from columnist Lizzie Cundy and also trade unionist Andy MacDonald. Right, well, listen, we, we know that Lee Anderson has been suspended. I'm going to come straight to you, Andy, because you said that you, you know Lee quite well. You've known him for many years. Yeah. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on this situation? Yeah, well, I, you know, I grew up in Mansfield, which mm. is just uh, one seat over from Ashfield. His uh, wife is my mum's councillor, in fact. So, is it? Uh, I've been very involved with the Anderson family for quite a long time. And I I remember when he was a, a Labour councillor and a mm. Labour staff member and when he was suspended from the Labour group on Ashfield District Council. So it's becoming a bit of a theme, seemingly, that he's getting, um, getting suspended from the primary <laughs> political parties. So it, it's just, is he going to go and join the Lib Dems and try and get the triple? It, it's the big question. It's, well, it was well, a they bizarre... Need, they need to it was suspend bizarre, their leader first. It was a bizarre <laughs> comment. For them. It was a bizarre comment from do, do, the, you, do you think it's a bizarre comment, though? Yeah, it was, you know, uh, saying that he's let Islamists take over London and he's given it away to his mates. That but, infers that there is a... A clear friendship between him and Islamists. I well, mean, well, what, a, what a bizarre well, comment. I think that, let, let, to be fair to Lee, when he says they're taking over London, I think he's referring to the pro-Palestinian protests that have been going on every single weekend. But people so have freedom you, of protest. No, well, well, you say that, but then that, how, how does it work for the Jewish people then? Because when they're protesting, and a lot of that protesting, there have been quite, you know, some chanting that a lot of people would say is anti-Semitic, including many Jewish people. They're afraid to go out when these protests are going on. Is he not right to say that there's a level of takeover of the streets of London? I think he's talking about the protests. It, it's difficult to say because I remember going to a campaign against anti-Semitism march a couple mm. of months ago and that was very, very well received, very well policed, very respectful and there were lots of people there. But it, it's hard, you know, are you encouraging a political figure, you know, Sadiq Khan is a political figure, mm. to intervene in the Metropolitan Police's way of policing protests? Well, like, well, that's no, deeply, he, a deeply worrying He precedent. should be making sure that they uphold the law so you are not allowed to project things onto mm. the Houses of Parliament or people any... People have been projecting no, no, onto the House of Parliament you're for not years. Allowed, uh, well, hold on, hold on a minute. You're not allowed to do that, though, and if it's something that is seen as anti-Semitic or Zionist or whatever, you, you know, whichever term you want to use, each are both offensive when you're referring to people in that way, then surely something should have been done. Well, it, it, it's hard to police. I mean, when was Why it is projected? it hard to police? When was it projected? Somebody's got a, a projector. Days, you know, Somebody's got a projector. It's against yeah. the law to do that. Well, you're going to go after the Ministry of Sound as well? You know, they did well, it that was years, years back. Okay, years ago. Uh, I don't know what the deal was. They may have spoken to them. But, but this is something which is a pure anti-Semitic behaviour, which is unacceptable. Minister of Sound may have done it. That was, I don't know how many years ago. Long, long time ago. Right. Oh, God, yeah. Right. So let's talk about now. Well, I mean, it, it's, I assume that there's been a police report filed and the police will be going through their well, due so process. That's it, it's, okay. it's not his responsibility as a political figure no, he, to he, intervene in the process. It is Sadiq Khan, as Mayor of London, to decide whether those things can go ahead. And he's obviously decided that they can go on week on and week out. Uh, let... Look, I'm, I'm a friend of Lee's and he is no way a racist. He's actually saying what a lot of the people think. And he, he speaks from the heart um, and he's not afraid to. I'm afraid people have had enough. They've had enough of intimidation. They've had enough of threats enough of these so-called democratic demonstrations. Listen, I got caught up in one of them and I was scared. I really was scared. And I think people have just had enough of it. And he's saying what a lot of us are feeling. They need to arrest and, you know, the people that are chanting hate, mm. that are projecting hate, hateful words on our public buildings. This cannot go on. But, but what would you say to the point that his comments may stoke tension, so they're divisive, which is what Wes Streeting well, was saying. They're divisive, he's a political figure, he's quite a powerful political figure, he's got big following, a lot of people respect him. If he says things like that, then his followers may go along yeah. with that in a, in a negative manner. I totally agree with you. You said, Nana, look, I believe in freedom of speech, but with responsibility. And I think his words were a bit clumsy, as you said. Um, but I think Lee is, is, as I said, unlike many MPs who just speak with a head, he speaks with his heart. And, it, and a lot of us all are feeling exactly how he is feeling. What would you say to that, though, Andy, that a lot of people are feeling that way? And he speaks for a lot of people. Well, seemingly, he kind of admitted that there was a problem with what he said, because in his statement, I can't remember the exact word. No, he word, said they were clumsy. So but I, he said, he, uh, you know, he understands the position he's put the Prime Minister yeah, in the Chief because he didn't apologise. So, so he does recognise that yeah, there was yeah, an issue. Has, I so I, I guess that's... Well, no, he's recognised it because he didn't apologise. Doesn't mean that he doesn't mean what he's saying. Do you but, see what I mean? But if he says that there's an issue for not apologising, that does recognise yeah, no, there is he, an issue with the he, words. He recognises it, but he has recognised that, that, you know, I'm not defending him, I'm just yeah, saying that I'm agreeing with you that he has recognised yeah. that. But... 
Either way, he may have been clumsy with his words. My point is that he may well be saying what a lot of people are thinking. And actually, what this has created, and, uh, you know, it's difficult because sometimes you say things like that and then it's obviously mm. taken in a very negative way and then somebody slaps a name on you. Mm. And then once you're, the name is slapped on you, you are silenced. Yeah. And I'm saying that in this instance, I don't know whether he, he, some people will think that he deserved it, others might not think that. But this name-calling type thing is where it silences people mm. from actually giving an opinion. I would argue that he's not silenced, you know. I mean, how many thousands of followers does he have on Twitter? I think something like 90, 100,000, quite, quite hope. And he's got, you know, excellent show here, Lee Anderson's Real World on Fridays at 7. You know, you can watch it on GV News. You know, I don't think he is silenced at all. I think he's got a, a large no, platform but I'm, to well, that's not, say whatever I don't, I don't mean it like that. I mean, if somebody calls you something like that, then you have to kind of stop, step back from what you're saying. Yeah, well, and you this is, we've seen this in Parliament. MPs are being scared of... of saying how they really feel. This is the problem, and that's what the MP should speak from the heart, not from the head, and that's what's happening. Because now, look, he's, he's been suspended, which I think is wrong. 